30 years. You used our choir in a mighty way this morning. Amen. And those two sisters. Mm. Yeah, Lord. Woo. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's so very true. That that from the heart. Reaches, yes, Lord. Reaches the heart. Yeah. You may know from the book of Ephesians. The sixth chapter, verse 11 through 13. This is our text. Our background scripture and the lesson comes from the 17th chapter of First Samuel. But the text here is again the sixth chapter of Ephesians. Verse 11 through 13. Father, we thank you for all that has transpired this day. Yes. We want to thank you, Lord, for how you, you've used Pastor Ross earlier in our Sunday school. Yes, yes. yes. We want to thank you for how you used the presiding minister, Minister Foreman. Yes, thank you, Lord, for how we used our officers, yes. our ushers. Yes. Yes. And we most certainly want to thank you, Lord, mm. for how you have used the KCC Choir. Yes, Lord. Yes. Now I ask you to let your grace be upon me, your servant. Yes, Lord. And I ask you, Lord God, to use me yeah. as you use them. Yes, Lord. Let me stand before your people whom you have entrusted in our care. Speak in me, through me. Under the anointing, the inspiration the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, Lord. And Lord, bless them that they receive your words in their hearts, yes. that we may all become not only hearers, but doers of your word. Yes. Most of all, Holy Spirit, we pray that you have your way yes. and that your blessing will be done. Father, we ask these blessings and we claim them now. Amen. In Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Amen. 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 In the book of Ephesians 6, chapter 7, verse, we notice these words. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, hmm. against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, right. against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, hmm that you may be able to withstand in the evil day. All right. And having done all, to stand. For a thing, we back up and lay low long enough. All right, Amen. We back up and lay low long enough. Man. I and many of us can identify with that sister song. Talking about sister Marie. 
We all ought to be able to uh, identify. You look where he brought me from. And Marie, there are some secrets in my life that I wouldn't dare share with anyone but with God. And I can look up and just say, look where you brought me from. Then I, every time Sister Carmen sang that song, it just does something to me. Because he loves me. And when I think about where he brought me from, and how much he loves me, I've come to the conclusion that I have bad up long enough. If you will, go with me, please, and think on what's being said. It's time for us to go to war. One day. Amen. Amen. I should have had more amen than that. Maybe you didn't understand and hear what I said. I said it's time for us to go to war. Amen. Amen. I'm going to make some of us angry right here when I say this, but, but God has happened to many of us. Yes, he has. Yes. Long enough. Oh yes, he has pampered many of us long enough. And it's time for us, every last one of us, it's time for us to put on the whole arm of God and go to war. Now, we are supposed to be God's people. Yeah. And God's people are supposed to be warriors. Right. But every time something happens, seems like we back up <laughs> and lay low Amen. instead of going forward into back. We must admit, we have yet things, circumstances, and people cause us to back up and lay low. Again, God, amen, gets tired sometimes. He gets tired of pampering. Us. As people of God, we're supposed to be able to take more than we take. Every time somebody does the least little thing to us, you're ready to back up and lay low. But again, he loves me so. He bought me from such If you agree with those sisters and the choir, we must admit that it is high time yeah. for us to quit backing up yeah. and lay low. My brothers and sisters, we are destined. And again, I say that we are destined to wreck Satan's house All right. All right. and overthrow his filthy pig pig. How? Through the power of the Holy Spirit. Then Paul tells us to put on the whole armor of God because if we don't put on the whole armor, my brothers and sisters, you will back up and lay low. Violence overthrow comes only when the dialogue between two opposing interests 
comes to his apex of limitation. The time is now. Some of y'all missed it because you're looking back at Sister Stephanie coming in. <laughs> but the time is now. What are we waiting for? <laughs> the time is now. Negotiation can no longer be tolerated. In other words, I'm ready to go to war, and I'm, I'm, I'm going to go if I have to go to war by myself. Amen. I'm not going to let nobody, Brother Ross, hinder me or hold me back. God has given each one of us a gift. He has given each one of us a talent, and we are to use that talent, that gift, and go to war. So again, I tell you that we cannot negotiate with the enemy. No longer. No longer can he be tolerated. One thing I like about Osama bin Laden and a lot of those people over in the East, they don't mind going to war. Oh, y'all know what I'm saying. We, 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 we know what Osama bin Laden and Saddam Hussein and all those other terrorists over there have been doing to the United States and other countries. They don't mind going into war. They don't mind being wounded. They don't mind being hurt. They don't even mind being killed for what they believe. What do we as Christians believe in? We believe in God, but will we die for the cause? Many of those terrorists over in the East will kill themselves just to kill you. We ought to be willing to die for the Lord. We ought to be willing to lay down our life as they for what we believe. We have backed up, hunkered down, and held our tongue yeah. and laid low mm -hmm. long enough. Mm -hmm. My brothers and sisters, a decision mm -hmm. must be made. Yeah. Yeah. Help, help us. Joshua addressed the Israelites one day and he assembled the whole house together. He said, choose you this day. I tell you, a decision must be, must be made. Yeah. Watch me now. If God, if, if God be God, yeah. if God be God, yeah. and I know I'm saying it over, but I want yeah. you to get it. Yeah. If God be God, then we must serve him without reservation or if God be God, it is time for the church to rise up and tell the forces of hell where to go. Are you with me? Oh yeah, it is time to stand up and tell Satan where to go. And all Can't be afraid of him. Amen. It's time for us to quit backing up from him. Right. Letting him run us off from being about God's business. Yeah. Amen. It's time for us to quit laying low. Mm -hmm. Because we back up and lay low long. Amen. 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 Enough. We back up and lay up. When they tell us lie, they hurt us. But let me tell you, in this war, you're going to be hurt. You're going to be wounded. This war is not an easy war. No war. 
is easy. Now the conflict involved hidden powers and spirit kingdoms, not merely earthly structures. We must know what we're fighting. Because if we don't know what we're fighting, you're in bad shape. We must know his tactics in order to fight him, the enemy. Jesus knew what he was up against. You remember the time when he rebuked Peter. He didn't rebuke Peter, but he rebuked the devil. Because he knew it wasn't Peter. It's not such and such. It's not him. It's not her. It's the enemy fighting behind enemy line. Paul says in our text, put on the whole armor of God that you be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Now my brothers and sisters, can I take my time? We cannot put on like we are doing part of the armor and leave the rest of the armor off. Because When it gets hot, when the battle gets hot, yeah. many of us will back up yeah. and lay low. He goes on to say, but we wrestle not against flesh and blood. When you into it with an individual, it's not flesh and blood. That's right. That's right. No, 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 no. It, it's not flesh and blood. But against principalities and powers against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. That's what you're about. So Paul goes on to say, well, Paul, if, you, if you're going to fight, if you're going to be a good soldier in this war, he says, take unto you the whole arm of God that you be able to withstand in the evil day. And having done all to stay. My brothers and sisters, I don't care how it looks, and it always looks like Satan got the upper hand. Don't care how it looks, it looks like he always appears to be defeating us. Come on. But I want you to know and encourage you by telling you that Satan is already a defeated foe. The thing is, he will continue to wreak heaven in our world as long as God's people hide their life, yeah. muffle their voices, yeah. compromise their condition, yeah. and whimper their prayers for help from hearts in comfort with doubt and unbelief. <laughs> in other words, you can't doubt God. You can't uh, uh, not believe God. You have to believe that the battle has already been won. And the victory already won. Now I ask this question. I want to ask this question. I want to look at you as I ask you. Are we fakes? I mean, think about it. Because there's a whole lot of fakeness, hypocrites in the church. But I ain't talking about them. I'm asking we as individuals, are we fakes? Or do we really, really possess something money came back? And humanity cannot produce. Do we really? If so, I say that we back up and lay low long enough. The time has come for the risen sun to lead us into battle. God can't use 
no doubt. The time has come. The alarm is heard. I don't know. I, 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 I heard. God, again, God didn't tired of pampering us. God didn't tired of feeding us milk. The law is heard. The handwriting is on the wall. Right. And it's time for us to strap on our arm yeah. and go to war. The fields are white. People are coming to your church. They're coming to my church. They're coming to their church. And there are people are looking for something. They're looking for God.
can't see. Yes, but victory yes. is out. Yes. Today. Not tomorrow. Today. Yes, if the day of victory, if you cannot and only believe, because with God, all things are possible. Yes, I encourage you warriors today mm. by telling you not tomorrow, not the next minute, but today is the day of victory. Yes. This is the day the Lord has made. Yes, and this is the day that we make our stand. Yes. How we make the stand. We make our stand in his name. Yes, there are kingdoms and realms to come and millions of souls to set free in the king's name. I tell you, we backed up. How many of y'all believe that? We backed up and laid low yes. long enough. Mm -hmm. We have orders. To, we have orders. We have orders to serve on Satan. Did y'all hear me? Yeah. And we need to serve those orders. Can I say it again? I want you to get it. We have orders. From the commander in chief. Right. We have order from headquarters right. to serve on sin. That we come to claim God's property and press them into the king. Now, my brothers and sisters, I don't care if you're a child of God, we have the authority. Watch me now. To use deadly force if necessary. Yeah. We need, we have the power, we have the authority to use deadly force if he resists. You see, billions of people are going to hell. And it's our job to stop them. We back up, I tell you, and we lay low long enough. I hope this holy quietness. We have a commission. We have a commission to impose God's kingdom on the kingdom of God. That means we have power and authority through God's word to break every chain, to do every captive in Jesus' name. We back up long enough. The Apostle Paul, the author of our text, was one who would not back up and lay down. Paul, Paul wrote his final letter to Tim from a dark Roman dungeon. Perhaps, perhaps a Roman soldier peered through that hole and noticed that the apostle's tunic had fallen from around his shoulder. He said, sir, he asked, what hideous and vicious crime have you committed? Paul asked himself, why do you ask that? Well, he said, well, the stars on your back, sir, mm -hmm. they are reserved for the most hideous and vicious crimes. Mm -hmm. Paul said, don't mind, though. They are just the stars of that. And my brothers and sisters, if you don't want no stars, you don't want to be on God's side. Mm -hmm. All right. But Paul The end. Mm -hmm. I've been shipwrecked, yeah. I've been snake bit, mm -hmm. I've been stoned, well. I've even been left for dead. Yeah. But listen to Paul. Paul said, But I can't at all trouble. Yes, Lord. Yeah. Don't mind yeah. these stars. Yeah. They're just the trophies of that. Yeah. Soon I will have thought the good part. Yeah. Will have kept the faith. As we go to our background scripture, Bible says in the 17th chapter of First Samuel, it says, and there went out the church out of the camp of the Philistines. Well, 
whose name was Goliath. The Bible lets us know that this giant stood nine feet tall. Yes. My brothers and sisters, that's enough to call the, the, the Israelites to back up and lay down. The Bible says that he had a helmet of brass upon his head. And he was armed with a coat of lead. And the weight of the coat was 5,000 shingles of brass. And he had greaves of brass upon his leg. And a tile of brass between his shoulders. Yeah. 
God in you. That trains soldiers. If you're ready to go to war, if you didn't had enough, you ought to stand on your feet and be happy. Be glad that God has sent another soldier. One thing about it, we can't get too many soldiers to go to war. The doors is yet open. It's open to whosoever will let it come. You may not have a church home. And a church home is a place where when you're sick, you can be healed. You can be faith. You can come. You may not know God in the parts of your sin. All you have to do is accept him as your personal Savior and only believe him. You can come. If you've been out of church for some time, know you haven't gotten it right with God, you too can come. I don't know about you, but I thank God for another soldier today. And I know Is there another? Is there enough? While you're thinking about it, Brother Hall can tell you. Pastor Ross, I got to say this. But while you're waiting on tomorrow, tomorrow may be too late. Just a few years ago, Brother Hall was trying to talk to a young man about coming to church. You remember this, Brother Hall? And the, the youngest man said, I ain't ready. And y'all know what happened? The next day, he was killed in a car accident. You can't wait on tomorrow, people. Tomorrow may be too late. You ought to come down according to the scriptures while the blood it's still running warm in your back. Yeah. It's time now for us, Marie, to quit playing church. Yeah. It's time now for it. Yeah. It's time to get serious. It's time to get real. Yeah. And go to war. Yeah. And I'm telling you that God is raising up an arm. He's raising up a people who will fight. And the battle is not your battle anyway. It's God. He just needs a really be Amen. We thank God for three.